Shearson was started in the early 60s by my father and two other partners. In the 80s and 90s, the ownership was transferred from my father to his three sons, myself, Marty, and Jim. There's no intimidation. It's sort of like titles are checked at the door. You can walk up and talk to Mick, Marty, Jim, like, like it's just anybody in the building, and they listen to you. In 2007, the company developed a new plan, and out of that plan were two results that I was in charge of working on. One was the engagement of the people, and one was making our plant a world-class manufacturing plant. The investments that Trigg have made in the people and the company uh, have transformed this company. It's been amazing, especially in the last five years. We've been living the life of continuous improvement. We do a lot with the lighting industry, the heating and air industry, the medical field. Stay pretty fresh and uh, always have uh, another opportunity to look forward to. We are a company that is very much in tune to our employees. They like being here. They <laughs> like uh, what we do. They like what we make. They like their environment. It's a place you can grow learn new things. I love the hands-on. I love what I do. I'm good at it. I'm not gonna lie, I really do love my job. <laughs> yeah, it's really kind of a special company. I've been here for 26 years. The old school manufacturing was about managing people. Nowadays, you lead people and you manage processes. Our lean journey, snowball effect. It started from upper management down through certain individuals and we kind of rolled out different processes. I would say it's family oriented. We're all in this together. I mean, we all pull together as a team. We're one big team. You have to find a seat on the bus for everybody. Everybody has value, and by leading them and coaching them, you inspire them, you, you spread the reward out. I think this is a great place because people here do care about their job, and, and I don't just mean in the sense of, oh, I gotta keep my job. They care about what they're doing. We're all about our quality. We're all about our people, our quality of our parts, our customers pretty much. An old saying that I used to hear that people are afraid of change. I found out that they're not afraid of change. They're afraid of uncertainty. And the only way I could get my vision across was with the use of Legos. The Lego blocks, first it was, okay, why are we playing with the Legos? The Lego model started with me sitting out there for a week by myself with a large group of blocks, and the employees thought I was going nuts. The owner lost it. I really didn't know what he was doing. Can I play? But then as we saw and we listened more to Mick and his vision of what he was wanting to do, it made sense. We built a current state to show him what it was like. Then we moved it around in teams and developed a future state. People got very involved in that process, and when they, they got involved in it, they took ownership of the layout. Where is everything gonna go? I was involved in that. And now we're in the process of moving the plant into the future state that was designed by the people here. Let's have some skinny Legos, you know? I'm not the, the square body type. <laughs> I felt like the company's been loyal to me. Um, I've been happy here. I, I just enjoy it. I really do enjoy my job. What, what okay. makes me feel great about this business is that the people on the floor are running the business now. It's not a numbers game, it's a, it's a people game now. When I first started here, we had maybe a handful of local industrial OEM type accounts to today. We focus mainly on global OEM, so it's a big change. It just has came so far. I do, I just feel proud. I mean, we've got a lot of operators that really care about their jobs, their positions, and the quality of the parts that they cut. I look forward to, to coming to work. These people are my partners. When we say we're a family, we mean it because not only is it a family own business, here you get an opportunity to get to know the people that you work with. I mean, we all have strengths and we all have weaknesses, but somehow those all mix together and try to make something better. I do, I love this place. I really do. Yeah, I love this place.